Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Jump Rope Warriors, welcome. As always, I hope you're doing really well. In this short video, I'm gonna talk about something that could be very important for you or maybe one of your friends or family members, especially if you make this jump rope mistake. And the reason I'm talking about it now is because last night I received a video from someone asking me to look at their double under technique and to offer some advice. And as soon as I saw them jump rope, I noticed there's something far more important than learning double unders right now. They're doing something with their legs that could cause serious problems, if not soon, maybe down the road. Um, many years ago when I went on my first long distance hike, I noticed that going up the mountain was fine. It was difficult, it was tiring because you're, you're working hard. But on the way down, I noticed that I started to get a lot of pain around this area of my knees on the outside and just generally all around here. As I was hiking down and then I noticed this pain for the next couple days and I believe even a couple of weeks. And upon reflection, I noticed when I was walking down, my knees would often point in like that. And anytime our knees are pointing in like that, it can put unnecessary tension or strain on our knees and our ACL. And the reason I mention that is because this person, when they were jumping rope, they were doing something very similar. Their feet were pointing in like so, okay? And I mean, you can do double unders like this, but just doing that, a few double unders like that, I could already notice a little bit of strict tension here on the outside of my knee. When we jump rope, we wanna keep our feet generally pointing forward, even a little bit out. And we wanna make sure our knees are not turning inwards. We wanna make sure our knees are straight or even turned out a little bit. So I highly encourage you to maybe jump rope in front of a mirror if you think you might be doing this or record yourself and look at your technique. You wanna make sure your feet are pointing slightly forward or even out at a slight angle. So here's my basic two foot technique. Do some double unders. So the feet are generally pointing forward, the knees are generally pointing forward and they're kind of almost turned outwards. Here's my basic boxer skip. Look at my feet, look at my knees. I'm making an effort to keep them straight or to keep them turned out at a slight angle. Not in like this. Doing this repetitively over time, it could cause a lot of unnecessary problems. So yes, you could do double unders with your feet pointing in like that, your knees pointing in. You might make some short-term gains now, but there's no point of doing that at the expense of your health later on. We want to be able to jump rope, have fun doing so for many years to come. You know, exercise should strengthen us, it should be enjoyable, it shouldn't damage us. So yeah, short video, but it could be very important. So just take a look at your knees. You want to make sure your feet are pointing straight, your knees are pointing straight, or even slightly turned out at an angle. We don't want them pointing in. A little bit of that is okay, but over time that could uh, cause a lot of uh, damage. You don't want to hurt your ACL or your knee. All right, hope you guys find this uh, helpful. See you all again soon, hopefully.